good morning. Morning. Good morning. So today's topic I want to chat to you about is body image, which I kind of think is something that anyone at any age can kind of relate to because we all have certain feelings about body image and body image is kind of described basically the way you feel about your body and the way it looks and how you feel when you look in the mirror. Mm-hmm. So how do you guys feel about your body image? Is it something you feel positive or negative about? I would say I'm ambivalent. I would say I don't think I ever have those days where I'm like, you are looking fine. But I never really have that. Well, I do have those days though where I'm like, oh my God, how how could anybody find you attractive? Like, you know, you're looking in the mirror like really hard or you look at a selfie and the longer you look at it, the worse it gets. And you're yeah. like oh my is that what I look like on the whole it's pretty negative but some days I have like good days I'm like yeah you look sexy today uh but on the whole it's probably like a no because I just love thinking about things I'd love to change about myself I'm confident confident enough to say like it's a bit more positive these days like you know go back a few years and if you'd ask me then I would probably just wouldn't say anything because it was at that point where it was like just like, you know, comfortable to look into the mirror, not comfortable feeling like in my clothes and stuff like that. But it's like these days now I'm like, yeah, like Mara had said, like seven days, I love the days like, oh, is that to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, like that. I know, I think it's so weird that it's even something we think about. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I would say, especially over the years, I've had quite a negative relationship with my body image just because I always look at yeah like what you would change or what might be wrong instead of looking at being like you know what like you're doing okay but not even the way it looks but you know we're healthy especially these days you know we're healthy we're alive we're breathing properly like I I can't believe that that's not the most important thing that we think of when we look at our bodies. I think for me because like growing up there wasn't necessarily anybody that really looked like me that I could relate to so Although, like, the kind of black or mixed race women who were in the media had, like, white body types or European body types. So it was not like I had anybody to kind of look to and be like, oh, everyone thinks she's beautiful, so I might be. So Mm -hmm. I think, for me, growing up, there was never that person that looked like me that was deemed, like, by Western standards, beautiful. So I was like, well, I'm not. So I'm just going to get on with my life, really, because obviously that's not going to be my thing. Like, being, like, attractive isn't going to be my thing. And it's only, I would say, in the last year or so when I've been like looking and actually, oh my God, like there are other girls who are like me, my body shape, or like I would say I'm so pear shaped. And I was like, what is wrong with me? Like, why am I like this? And it's only because I've seen other women now who look like me. I'm like, oh my God, it's just who I am. That's all it is. Yeah, which is why representation in the media is, is so important because nowadays there's a lot of kind of the body positive movement and inclusivity, but there's still a long way to go. But yeah, that's, you know, it just goes and reflects on, on how much effect it can literally have on people's, you know, lives and how we feel about ourselves and negative kind of feelings toward our bodies and the way we look. One thing for me, I've kind of accepted, I know it's not the same as not having the same body type as people, but I've got so many scars and stuff from surgeries. And that's what for me is the hardest thing to accept because I know it'll never change. Mm. You can lose, you can gain weight, you can, you know, you can have surgery to get ass made bigger and stuff nowadays, but you can't really get rid of scars. So that was the hardest thing for me to accept. Yeah, because I guess the body positive movement is a lot of it is shrouded around weight, really. And Mm -hmm. actually, it, it goes a lot further than that. And do you feel like you see, you know, yourself represented in terms of like scars and stuff? Or do you think there's still a long way to go in seeing that in the media? Yeah, I think there's a long way to go in terms of, um, like body positivity and disabilities and that kind of tying into it. There's some like some projects are really good for doing this sort of thing. I think it's um beyond the scars. I don't know if you've heard of that, but it's a great project that talks about people with the scars and different things. Maybe some people have been have had their hands amputated. Some people have got scars on their faces and stuff. But yeah, those kind of things are great. But there's not enough being done for it. I no, not really. It's so subjective though, isn't it? And this is what's so messed up about it because we're told this is what beauty is. This is you, know, the tick list for beauty. This is what we should all be adhering to. But like for me myself, and I was actually saying to my friend yesterday, coincidentally, I find scars really beautiful. Like I love like the look of them. I just think that like when somebody has scars, my first thought is oh my gosh, they've lived a life. Like, they've got stories to tell. They've got some, do you know what I mean? Something has happened there. Mm-hmm. Whereas, 
the kind of beauty standard is you have perfectly smooth skin, airbrush skin. You don't, you know, you have baby skin, which is who has baby skin after the age of 18 months? Like I haven't looked rejuvenated since I was in the womb. I don't think I haven't had a good night's sleep since then, but that's what we're told we're meant to look like. But it's subjective. Like everybody finds different things attractive, but we're told, no, this is what's attractive. And we've all got to adhere to it. It's rubbish. Recently now I've noticed that I've had stuff like, you know, like you were saying about like scars and stuff like that. I've noticed like I've had a few stretch marks and, it's like it's a bit daft but I thought the beginning when I had them I was thinking I thought only women had it but that's the thing is like I've never seen like a man or viewed of a man that have had it but I remember a drag queen recently like posted something about it was like to that boy who's got like this who's got that who's got stretch marks and stuff and I was like oh my god that's me so where do you think your personal kind of negative feelings around body image and the way we should look and beauty ideals comes from for me i know it's got worse obviously as i've got older because when you're young you're like carefree like, oh you know what's body image you just you just live your life don't you mm. i think getting older i was comparing myself to other girls really um and then obviously obviously instagram and stuff like that has a massive impact because all you see is like stunning people and even them even they're still stunning in person but a lot of the time the waist has been nipped in, you know, the face has been extra contoured on an app. All this stuff has been done. Like that has an impact because you're then like, shit, I need to do that to mine as well. For me, the biggest thing growing up was my hair. Like nobody I knew, like Jess and I, we're from the same town. Nobody had the same hair as me. Generally, people used to stop me in the street to stroke it because as if it was some kind of thing they seen in the circus. And I'd be like, oh my God, I'm a freak. Like what is wrong with me? And I was looking at my um, mum's old magazines from like the early noughties for black hair care, like Afro hair care. And there was one page about natural hair, one page about natural hair. The rest was all like weave, like trying to get as straight as possible. So I grew worse in that period of your natural hair is the worst thing about you. It's the thing that you should eradicate the most. So I spent the first 24 years of my life trying to straighten it, trying to get rid of it as much as possible. So I feel like I was almost robbed of that carefree childhood mentality of I don't care what I look like. So we've all kind of discussed that we felt negatively about our bodies and we're definitely not alone. So recent stats show that 61% of adults and 66% of children say that they feel negative about their bodies nearly all the time or very, very often, which, you know, that's so sad to think that that is kind of taken over people's lives and children's lives as well. Yeah, I wouldn't think that the children's stat would be so high. 66 yeah. kids, like that, that's actually disgusting, but I feel like, because it's recent, social media's had a massive impact on that because I swear if you'd done that, what, 10, 15 years ago, it wouldn't have been like the same. You're so right. It's social media that's done this. Yeah, I had that realisation a few years back of like, I used to edit my photos to hell and back to the point where if I were to look at them now, I'd be like, who's that then? And it's like, it's like <laughs> I had to look. Um, I was looking through some of my photos on my Facebook and my friends the other day. And I just seen this one photo. And I was like, I have never looked like that in my life. I have never been that small. But it was like, I remember back to that time is that I would look at myself, I would be so depressed and I would think that I was huge and I was only like 12 stone or something. But I'm probably like the biggest I am now and I'm just happy. So it's like I got to that point now where I'm like, I'm not going to edit my photos because, you know, that's not how I look. Everyone already knows I will look. Do you have any tips in terms of how to kind of hashtag love yourself? Um, I think the biggest thing about it is that you're not going to wake up one day and be like, I love myself. It takes time. It's a process. Doing something like physical with my body like every day, whether it be like weight, whether it be just sort of walking with the horses, something like that, reminds me that on the days where I'm not feeling great about my body, I'm looking at myself and like, I really wish I didn't look like that, that actually it's so strong. Like it's amazing what it can do. And that for me, actually doing something physical with my body, even something like stupid, like playing badminton with my dad. Do you know what I mean? Just makes me feel like, oh my God, like my body is actually there to keep me alive, to do something. And that does make me feel better, even if I feel like it's an absolute penance afterwards. <laughs>